Okay, so we're gonna start filling our canal. So before I start, I wanna figure out which gutta percha I'm gonna use. So I have the 35 and the 30 right here. So let's try the 35 in. That's what we ended our rotary with, so we can try it in and see if it gets to our working length. And again, you wanna feel that tug back and you don't wanna shove, right? So I'm right there. You don't wanna push it because then this bottom part will bend. And I'm not quite at 35, at 25, sorry. I'm at 23, which is basically the same place that our paper point ended at. So now we can try the 35 and you can, oops, you can pre-measure this. So 24.5. Placing it and just give it a little wiggle. Gonna feel for that tug back. There it is. I'm pulling and it's not coming out easily. So right there is where we want to be. I love it. We can measure again. And looking at the cone, it's not bent. Even though we give it a slight push, um, I guess you have to kind of figure that out with practice, but. We're right at 25, which is perfect. This is good. So we're gonna end up using this 30 cone, even though we finished with the 35 rotary. So as you practice these techniques, remember that it's not always perfect, but they do fit in with each other very, very closely. Okay, so um, this is the filler we use. It's called Easy Fill. Of course, use any filler or sealer that you like or that you've used in the past. This part is hard. And just want to get this nice creamy consistency. And this um, sealer, the good thing about it is that you have a couple of hours before it sets, so there's quite a good amount of working time. Okay, so we got to our working length with the 35. And here's another thing I wanna show you. To get the sealer all the way down in the canal, you can use a smaller file. Here I have a 25, because we ended with the 35 and you'd put it at a few millimeters short of your working length. So our working length is 25. I'm gonna go to like 22 or 23, around there. I have a stopper and I'm gonna put sealer on it and then I'm gonna run my rotary in reverse. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna help to put some sealer all the way to the bottom of the canal. I don't wanna go past um, the working length, because I don't want sealer to go, you know, past the canal, but I want to get as close to the bottom as I can. Sorry, let's remeasure. So 22 I have, I put some sealer on it. I'm gonna run my rotary on reverse. And again, just smooth and easy, no shoving. This should go in easily. I'm just going into my stopper coming out and just trying to coat the canal with the sealer. You can do a couple passes. So I'm being really careful not to go past my measurement because you can easily go because there's no resistance right now. So just placing sealer inside the canal. Okay, that's good. And finally, I'm gonna get my point. So to do the final fill, measure to the 24.5. Perfect. I usually like to give it a little pinch here because I kind of mark it for myself. And then 
Now we're gonna try to get that bottom part of the canal that we haven't gotten a seal or two. You can coat the whole thing, but mainly the bottom part. And then gently placing it. And I'm giving it a slight push at the very end because I do want to feel that tug back. I'm pulling on it now. Let's see if I can pull it out there. So that little wiggle, make sure that I'm in at the right length. So that's it. With this technique, it's one cone, okay? So you're done. You, there's no accessory cones, nothing else you need to do. So now we're just gonna cut off the top of our canal. We're gonna do cut off our gutta percha with heat. I just use one of these torches. I don't have one of those heated tips, but that's another option if you, if you prefer those. I'm just heating the tip of it off camera so I don't burn anything. It's nice and heated and just go as deep as you can. Here the risk is that if you grab it too hard then you just pull out the whole thing. So I'm kind of tapping it on the side like this and take your time and do it in several passes if you need so it, it doesn't pull out. So again, I'm gonna use this to heat it. So I removed the gutta percha and I'm going to try to show you inside this canal because this is an important part of this is that you want to remove any gutta percha from coming into the top of the canal and we're going to clean it next. To clean inside the canal I just use a little bit of cotton, make little pellets or you can buy the pellets alcohol and we just go in and just scrub it as much as we can take another pellet Let's take a look inside our access opening. So the tops of the um, gutta percha, it's coming up a tiny bit. Um, what I can do is heat my instrument again and go in and make sure it's condensed all the way down. I've heated the instrument and I'm going to Condense this gutta percha a bit more, just gently tapping on it and scraping the sides to clean anything from the sides of it. And go back with my cotton pellet clean inside as best as I can. You can use a smaller cotton to really be able to scrape around in there so the cotton is smaller than your opening. So 
So there you have it. You have filled your root canal, cleaned out the access opening, and all with just one single gutta-percha point. So a very simple and effective method.